as you can see behind me, we started hanging some of the images well that will be exhibited That's on the good. 21st of September in our David Bowie exhibition. Terry, what's your favorite image and why? Well, this I have to pick this as one of them because it's uh, probably the best seller. You know, this was done after well, I was shooting him for the Diamond Dogs album cover for the artist to do a drawing for it because they were using a drawing as the cover. And, uh, you know, I posed the dog and then David copied the dog's poses. So afterwards I thought I'd do some shots of them together. And as I'm starting to take the pictures, the dog suddenly leaps up in the air and, and Bowie didn't turn a hair and everyone's sort of shocked in the studio. But actually what the dog was doing was jumping at the strobe. Every time the strobe went off, he tried to bite it. So that was the secret of that, but that's, that's become Apparently, the, according to Rolling Stone, the most second most popular rock and roll picture in history. So it's, it's something, anyway. This is another one of my favourites because David rang me up one day and, and to thank me for introducing him to Liz Taylor. He said, I've got a surprise for you. Come to the office of this somebody I want you to meet. Anyway, I'll go there and I meet this man. He's William Burroughs, who's a famous writer who I had no idea who he was at the time. And uh, I took all these pictures. And in fact, he was a better poser than David was. Anyway, Rolling Stone fell in love with the whole thing and did pages of pictures and all that type of thing. There's all the contacts of the session. Uh, and that's... This is a picture that's hand coloured personally by David Bowie. He, he coloured it all up, he loved this picture. He was a great guy to work with and of course I love this, this was a jam session at uh, Peter Sellers house in Hollywood. With Bill Wyman, Ronnie Wood and the two Bobby Keys who was a fab fabulous sax player and Bowie playing the baritone sax which not anybody really knew anything about, Keith Moon singing and Joe Cocker singing. Anyway, and this other set, with this is when I, when I, uh, I fixed for him to meet Liz Taylor because she was interested in putting him in a film and she wanted to meet him. So I said, well, okay, ask him over to lunch. She said, well, I can't do it at my place, but we'll do it at George Kukors, who was the director of the film. And she said he could see him at the same time. And we're sitting there and it comes, it's like half past five. He's supposed to be there at one o'clock. And he eventually shows up and she suddenly swept him up in her arms, did all these fabulous pictures. I mean, she just took over the session because he didn't really know what was happening. And uh, then she went and she never gave him a part in the film. But they did end up great friends later, so it was all worth it for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> 